Okay, guys, I'm still on the business of updating you. Current situation, breaking news, what is going on in Nigeria. So wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. All depends on your location at this time of the day. Okay, it is no longer news. We already know the story so far right from the one. I'm talking about the illegal abduction of the IPOB leader, Mazin Namdikanu, all right, by Kenyan authority. That is, by the way, all right, they know what they are going to face. Whenever we see the truth, let us say it the way it is, all right? That is how I say it. I say it the way it is. Now, two things are involved. According to, um, between the Nigerian government, all right, between the Nigerian government and the trial of the leader of IPOB since 2017. So two things is currently involved. So according to the Nigerian government, Namdi Kanu jump bail 2017. That is for them, all right? Whenever we see the truth, let us say it the way it is. Now the Igbo lawyers... All right, Igbo Lawyers Association have insisted that Namdi Kanu, the leader of IPOB, is not guilty of jumping bail. And the lawyers also faulted the way and manner Namdi Kanu was allegedly abducted in Kenya and bundled to Nigeria. Okay, so now two things are involved. By Nigerian government, he jumped bail. That is the more reason why they illegally abducted him in Kenya. All right. But now the Igbo Lawyers Association said he didn't jump bail. So those are the two things that are involved. But let me surprise you. You may want to ask which one am I supporting? Is it that Nam Dekano jump bell in 2017 or not? My dear, I will tell you whenever we see the truth, let us say it the way it is. All right? I will give you my own um, personal opinion on this issue. But before then, let me quickly give you the background details of the story. All right? But um, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you get updated whenever I publish a new video like this for you. So, Chooks Moma, he's the leader of Igbo um, Lawyers Association and also a senior advocate of Nigeria. All right, so that is where we are going down to. Chooks Moma, he told journalists in Abba that rather than jump bail, Namdi can only preserve his life by running away from the police, Department of State Service, and Army operatives who attacked his home in 2017. In his word, he said after he was granted bail, Nam Dikanu stayed in his father's house at Afaruku, Umohia, until the invasion of the house by the police, DSS, and Army. He suspected that the invasion was aimed at his life, and you do not expect him to do anything. He has the right to self-preservation, which he did to escape from danger. If he was interested in jumping bail, why didn't he jump bail before that incident? All right, so that is what we are looking at. The senior advocate also urge Nigerians, including agitators, to always embrace dialogue, calling on Buhari's administration to embrace dialogue as a permanent solution to issues. And when he was speaking further, he said there are serious cases raised in Kanus. Um, there are serious cases raised in Kanus' recent present in or rendition to Nigeria. And I have questioned, I have questioned the manner of his abduction because what happened was never an arrest. So that was what he said in quotes. I'm giving you what he said in his word. So if what I said, Kenyan government is busy denying that they don't know anything. The question is, how did the man leave your territory? Does it mean that Kenya has no security 
within its border. All right. So, um, like I told you, you may want to ask me which side are you? Are you supporting that Namdekanu jumps bell or not? My dear, I will tell you the truth. He did not jump bell. Three things await a freedom fighter. Three things await a freedom fighter. Just like um, Shehu Sani on his official Facebook page. When he asked a question, there was a um, different reaction. When he asked a question, Owazurike started this Biafra movement. But how come Owazurike do not have the followership Namdekano has? How come Owazurike is not pulling the kind of crowd worldwide Namdekano is pulling? All right. There were different reactions. A lot of people said Namdekano is a true freedom fighter. Different people have their own different opinion. But let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. Why? Do Namdekanu pull so much crowd? More than Wazurike, the mass up leader that started this Biafra movement. All right. Let me know what you guys think on that. So, like I said, Namdekanu, personally for me, he did not jump bail. Now, how do you expect a person that was granted bail? All right. A person that was granted bail to wait for you to kill him during that invasion. If eventually he was killed, how will you expect him to appear in court? How will you expect him to continue his trial? That is the question we should ask. Now, senior advocate here, I'm talking about the Igbo Lawyers Association. Don't forget, they are also senior advocates. They know the law. The same law school, the chief judge that is handling Namdekanu's case went to. Is the same law school all of them attended. Most of them, they attended different programs outside the country. Yes, they know the truth. So personally, I feel that apart from Nigerian government, the hatred, they know the truth that Namdekanu have no case. He has nothing to answer. Of course, like seriously. So like I said, these are the same senior advocate of Nigeria that attended law school, different programs outside and within Nigeria. They are the same senior advocate, the same person that is handling Namdekanu's uh, case. All right? So they know the truth. They know the truth. And I believe they have admitted the truth that Namdekanu didn't jump bail. Because if he was dead, if they eventually succeeded in killing him, will they be talking about uh, rendition, will they be talking about um, illegal abduction from Kenya to Nigeria? They wouldn't be discussing that today. All right. But however, I always say it the way it is. All right. When we see the truth, let us say it the way it is. Let me know what you guys think. Why do just like um, Shehusani, all right, why do Namdekanu pull so much crowd? more than Uwazurike that started this Biafra movement. Remember, Uwazurike was also in several times arrested, detained, not once, not twice. Sometimes, um, I think there was a time he was in detention for two years. But how come he didn't pull the kind of crowd and followership Namdekanu is pulling? Let me know what you think. See you in another video.